Amy, when are you coming to visit during summer vacation? Huh? Uh, I don't know. What? You haven't set a date yet? No. Sorry. I'll let you know. Ugh. You're so useless. Sorry. But, uh, I'm not coming this year. It'll just be my husband, so maybe you should talk to him. What do you mean you're not coming? You can't just not show up. You're kidding, right? No, I'm serious. You said it yourself the last time I was there. What? You said you never wanted to see my face again. That doesn't matter. We're family now. It's really unfortunate. But... Just stop messing around and set a date. Do it, now! Uh, no. You work me like a dog. This year, I want to relax, so... Seriously? You're a housewife. That's what you're supposed to do. Why did you marry my son, you... Ugh! Sorry. Amy, listen. You're his wife. You're supposed to help us. You know that, don't you? That's such an old way of thinking. What? We're not living in the 80s anymore. How dare you! I'm ashamed that my son married you! And you didn't even give birth to a boy! Yeah, yeah. Look, I'm not going. Deal with it. Rob said it was okay. He'd never say that! Stop lying! You're a liar! He said it himself. He hates it when we fight. All you ever do is talk back to me. Uh, okay, but... Uh, Just shut up, you useless piece of shit! Oh, wow. Whatever. I'm not going, so... You're his wife! You can't just not come! Your parents didn't teach you that? Huh, I guess not. Again, we're not in the 80s anymore. And I spend a lot of time with him, so... It's fine. What about Allie? She's coming, right? Uh, no. What? Why not? She's my granddaughter! You already forgot? Huh? When I got pregnant, you said you didn't want a girl. Uh, yeah, but she's cute. I like her, okay? She kinda looks like Rob. I see. But the last time we were there, you kept asking me when I was gonna have a boy. You made her cry, you know. So no, she's not coming either. That's not my fault. And I never said I didn't want her around. Then stop saying those things out loud. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just come home on summer vacation. Got it? Uh, no. We're not going. My daughter and I are going to see my parents. That's enough! You married my oldest son. You do as I say. Who's gonna cook for everyone, huh? Uh, why don't you do it? You know how many people will be here? You expect me to do it all by myself? Uh, that's not my problem. Why don't you all go on vacation or something? Then you won't have to cook for them. It's tradition. You have to learn the ropes. I know you come from a poor family and all, but you have to learn. 
whatever. By the way, my family and I are going on vacation together during summer. We're paying for everything. What? Oh, wow. So all you care about is your family. You're not going to do anything for us. You're not family anymore. Uh, it's my money. I can do whatever I want with it. Your money? That's Rob's money! You just stay home all day! Stop leeching off my son! Uh, actually, no. It's my money. Stop lying! You just stay home all day long! Like I said before, I work from home. So what? You probably make nothing. You just don't get it, do you? What? I run my own company. I do it all from home. Huh? I work with others using the internet. Wait, I thought you quit your job. Uh, yeah, but... That was years ago. We weren't even married at the time, lol. I launched my own design company after that. I started working from home after I got pregnant. The company is doing quite well. You never told me that. That's because you always looked down on me for not going to college. And you never asked. And also, I'm not sure why you think my family is poor, but... My dad is an executive at a construction company. What? You said he was a construction worker. Uh, no. I said he works for a construction company. You never listen, do you? So yeah, you don't have to worry about our family. We're doing quite well for ourselves, so... Uh, I can't wait for our summer vacation. Amy. There's been a misunderstanding. I'll pretend like none of this ever happened. Let's start over, shall we? We can talk about this during summer vacation. <laughs> uh, no, lol. You're unbelievable, you know that? What? I already booked my flight! And I got work right after that, so... I'm not going there. What do you mean? You work from home, right? Just bring your computer over or something. Uh, there's no signal there. You guys live in the middle of nowhere, so I can't work from there. Fine, then. We'll meet you at the hotel. We'll join you. Uh, what about the other relatives? I'm sure they'll figure something out. Let's just spend some quality time as a family. I thought it was tradition, lol. I'm always up to try new things. We'll meet you at the resort. Uh, if you want to come, sure, but... You gotta make your own reservations, and I'm not paying for you, so... What? Why not? And it's a pretty popular hotel, so... It's probably full by now. I knew some people, so they hooked me up. But, I don't think you'll be able to get in. What? Don't push it! Just figure something out, okay? Let bygones be bygones! Seriously? All you ever did was harass me. My level of education, my family. You said you never wanted to see me again, and you made my daughter cry. So no, I don't think so. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I should have been nicer. Come on, let's go on vacation together. If you want to come, make the reservation yourself. Ask your son to help you out. Maybe he'll pay for you. Oh, wait. He didn't get his bonus this summer, so... <laughs> Forget I said anything, lol. Please, Amy! We're family! What? Seriously? You said it yourself. We're not family anymore. LOL. But hey, no worries. 
I never considered you to be family in the first place, so... No worries. LOL. Don't ever contact me again. You're dead to me. Amy kept her word and went on vacation with her family that summer. Looks like she had a lot of fun. Her mother-in-law tried to book the hotel herself, but it was all full. Eventually, she gave up. When she heard that Amy and her family were planning to go abroad during winter holidays, she started begging her to take her with them. But Amy never replied to her. Ava, it's been a long time, hasn't it? How is it being off on your own now? Is everything going well? Pardon me? What kind of response is that? <laughs> I'm just asking if you're doing well. How I'm doing and how I'm living is none of your business. Don't be like that. Why are you being so cold towards me? I'm worried about you. That's why I took the time to message you. What do you want after all this time? What do you mean, what do I want? I'm just worried about you. Is that a crime? If I recall, you kicked me out of the house with no notice. Then you blocked my number and all my social media accounts. I had no way of contacting you anymore. After that, I had to go through your mom to get everything settled between us. So you have no business messaging me right now. I'm sorry. I was busy with a lot of things back then. I have no idea what you mean by that. Look, I don't have time to waste talking to someone like you anyway. Don't message me anymore. You say you don't want to talk to me, but I see you never blocked me from contacting you, now did you? I think you've been waiting for me to message you this whole time, huh? You blocked me, so I assumed I wouldn't be hearing from you anymore. Believe me, if I thought you were going to message me again, I would have blocked you. And now that you mention it, I think I'm going to block you right now. Goodbye. Hang on. I really want to apologize for what I did to you back then. That's why I messaged you. A bit too late for that, don't you think? I figured that, but... I thought you'd at least hear me out. I'm really sorry for kicking you out so suddenly. I was an idiot. I know you didn't have a job, so it was probably pretty rough on you for a while, huh? You kicked me out because I didn't have a job, didn't you? You said I was useless and a stain on society, and that you weren't going to support anyone like that. I'll never forget that. I'll never forget what you said to me. But you're working now, aren't you? That's because it's been over a year since you kicked me out. If I hadn't gotten a job... I wouldn't have been able to live now, would I? Are you living by yourself? Yeah. What's it to you? I see. It's gotta be tough for a woman living by herself. Maybe even a little scary sometimes, huh? Not really. It's actually quite nice. There's nobody looking down their nose at me anymore. And I don't have a horrible mother-in-law coming over unannounced all the time just to make fun of me and treat me like crap. I have to apologize about my mom. I shouldn't have let her do that. And I shouldn't have taken her side all the time when I was with you. I'm sorry. It wasn't just you taking her side or not defending me. You said your share of terrible things to me too. You were just as bad as she was. I'm sorry. I guess I went a little too far, didn't I? But I was under a lot of stress from work. And then I'd come home and see you lazing around the house with nothing to do all day. It made me angry. Now that I think about it, it was pretty childish of me. I don't know how much you've actually changed in this past year, but no matter what you say to me now, I'm never going to forgive you for how you treated me then. As far as I'm concerned, what happened then is ancient history. I'm not looking for an apology from you. I understand. So, what do you do for work now? Antonio, that's none of your business. Oh, you finally said my name. I'm so happy. 
I thought you had forgotten it or something. Oh, God. Actually, I heard a rumor that you're doing nursing care now. I know that's got to be a tough job, so I was worried about you doing it every day. If you knew about that, then why were you beating around the bush? And anyway, it's a lot better than living with you ever was. But you're not an actual nurse, so I'm sure you get all the dirty jobs and I bet the pay is not very good, huh? Do you really think you can keep that up long term? It's tough, but it's a job worth doing. I get a lot of satisfaction from it. And I've gotten all kinds of qualifications in the past year, so I'm working for a pretty decent place right now. If you were really worried about me, don't be. Things are going well for me. That's my Ava. See? I knew getting a job would be the best thing for you. Huh? That's why I said those mean things and kicked you out of the house. I knew if I kicked you out, you'd stop sitting at home all day and you'd get a job and start supporting yourself. What are you talking about? Wasn't it you and your mom who both wanted me to be the stay-at-home housewife when we got married? If I recall, I had a job before we got married. You were the one who made me quit it. That was all my mom's idea, and I didn't want to go against her. I don't care about any of that now. Just stay out of my life and leave me alone. That's the only thing I want from you. That means don't try to contact me anymore. What the heck were you trying to accomplish? Why would you come to where I work? Are you insane? What was I supposed to do? You blocked my number. The only way for me to get in touch with you was to go to your work. I don't care. Just stop this. I've got nothing I want to say to you. But I've got something I want to say to you. And how did you know exactly where I worked anyway? Are you checking up on me? It's not like that. I just happened to find out by chance. The nursing home you're working at. Well, my co-worker's dad is in there. He just happened to see you when he was visiting his dad and he told me. Oh, I see. So that's how you knew I was into nursing care now. Well, yeah. So, what is it? You've got something you want to say to me, right? Bad enough that you're willing to ambush me at work, right? I'll let you tell me now if you promise me you'll never come back to where I work. Okay. I want you to come home. What? I promise I'll never kick you out again. I won't do anything to hurt you ever again. I'm not going back to you. <laughs> Ava, you didn't leave because you hated me. That's not why you left. I think you're using the wrong word. I didn't leave. I was kicked out. Well, yeah, but... I didn't kick you out because I wanted to kick you out. You didn't want to? When I came home from visiting my friend, all my stuff was outside and you had changed the locks. How can you say you didn't want to? I had no idea what was going on. I was in shock. I know you were constantly complaining about me being at home not working, but... You never once mentioned kicking me out if I didn't get a job. That's why I need you to come back. Let's get back together. We're both working now. We can support each other. You know it's been an entire year, don't you? I'm doing just fine without you. There's no reason for me to even consider moving back in with you. Ava, don't be stubborn. Is it because you're still worried about my mom? Huh? She'll have nothing bad to say about you anymore. Or, and you don't have to listen to a thing she says anyway. My decision has nothing to do with your mom. And why aren't you worried about what your mom thinks anymore? He used to do every little thing she told you to do. Did you and her have a fight or something? To be honest, my mom's gone senile. And that's not an exaggeration. She's only in her 60s, but it's already hit her pretty hard. Oh, I see. The woman you depended on for everything isn't there anymore. So, you decided to contact me. It's not exactly like that. 
but I'd feel a lot better if someone with your nursing care qualifications was around. Remember, the only reason you went out and got those qualifications was because I kicked you out of the house. I basically helped you get to where you are today. I can't believe you're even suggesting that. Why should I take care of the woman who made my life a living hell the whole time I was with you? There is something wrong with you, isn't there? But it's my mom. Think of all she did for you. That woman didn't do a damn thing for me. She would always take us out for those expensive dinners. And she showed us around to all the best restaurants in the state. That was only for you. She said I wasn't really family, so she refused to let me come. She made me stay at home while you went with her. She never took me to any restaurants. I don't think she even cooked a single meal for me either. I can't think of one nice thing that woman ever did for me. She helped pay for our wedding. She only paid the last little bit that you were struggling to pay off. And believe me, she made it clear that she was only doing that to help you. And remember, she wouldn't give you that money until I proved to her that all the money in my savings account had already been put towards the wedding. Well, regardless. You're my wife, so it's your responsibility to look after my mom. So just get your butt back here ASAP. No way! I'm not your wife, and I'm not going back to your place. I'll be here. I'll be waiting for you to come back home. I know you still have feelings for me. No matter what you say or think, I'm never going back to your place. And if you ever come by my work again, I'm calling the police. I mean it. Leave me alone. If you don't come home, you're gonna regret it. If you're not here, and my mom hurts herself or something, it's gonna be all your fault. I mean it. I want you to come home right away. You know how dangerous it is for a senile old woman to not have proper care. My mom is your responsibility now. I can't believe you. You called the cops on your own husband. Don't you have a heart? It was because you came by my work again and started causing a scene. I told you I'd call the cops if you tried that again, didn't I? I didn't think you'd really do it, though. I can't believe you'd be so mean. They let you off with a warning, didn't they? You should be thankful they didn't arrest you. Let that be your lesson, and never do anything like that again. If you would have just let me talk to you, everything would have been fine, and you wouldn't have needed to call the cops. How long are you going to make me wait before you come home? It's been a week since you last messaged me, and I haven't heard hide nor hair from you since. My mom and I have been waiting for you to come this whole time. What? Even though we've been divorced for over a year? Why would you think I'd come back to you? And you're not my husband. You're my ex-husband. That means you're nothing to me, so leave me alone. Huh? What are you talking about? Why are you acting like we're divorced? I'm not your ex-husband. The divorce papers were submitted long ago. You are my ex-husband. So, what are you talking about? Huh? Are you messing with me? Who said you could submit the divorce papers? I didn't agree to the divorce. What? You were the one who said you wanted a divorce, weren't you? And your mom submitted the divorce papers for us. After you kicked me out of the house and blocked my number, your mom contacted me. Huh? She said you wanted a divorce, and she demanded that I sign the divorce papers. What? How could that be? How come I wasn't aware of any of this? What? Your signature was already on the divorce papers by the time I got them. That? I only signed those papers to shut my mom up about it. It was supposed to be just to keep you away from the house until you got a job. She said if she showed you signed divorce papers, it would scare you into getting a job faster. That's the only reason I signed them. So it seems that it was your mom who submitted them without you knowing. It's no wonder you weren't understanding what I was saying. But if you've got a problem with it, take it up with your mom. I'm not okay with this. I thought I was still married to you. 
You thought we were married, yet you didn't try to contact me for an entire year? Don't you think you've been just a little too free? Well, there's been a lot of circumstances that caused that. He never told me back then, and I didn't want to bring it up. But I know all about your circumstances. Your mom told me everything when she brought over the divorce papers. She said you had found a new lover, and that's why you wanted to divorce me. What? Your mom never liked me, and she seemed to be really happy that you found someone new. She even offered to pay me compensation money instead of me taking you to court for cheating, so I agreed. She did that? How come you two decided all of this without me? You were the one who blocked me, remember? I couldn't reach you by phone or by email. You blocked everything. How was I supposed to contact you if you did something like that? I'm sorry. After you kicked me out of the house, I really wanted to talk to you about everything. But when your mom showed me proof of you cheating on me, I knew there was no point in talking to you anymore, and there'd be no working anything out between us. That's why I signed the divorce papers. This can't be. What you're saying is completely different than what my mom told me. My mom told me that I should keep you away from me for a little while. And during that time, I should try dating a few other women just to see if you really were the one for me or not. She said I could submit the divorce papers if I found someone better, but if not... Well, it looks like your mom lied to both of us, huh? But unlike you, I don't regret divorcing you. And I'm not forgiving you for going along with your mom and doing what she said. Did you really look down on me that much? Everything turned out this way because of you. You got what you deserved. Are we really divorced? Yes. That's what I've been telling you this whole time, isn't it? You're on your own. But mom told me this was the best way to make you get a job. Then blame all this on your mom if you want. I don't care. But I don't see how a man in his 30s can't think for himself and still has to rely on his mom to make all his decisions for him. It doesn't matter now because it looks like you're going to be taking care of your mom all by yourself. But I can't. I can't be the only one around here for her now that she's gone senile. The only one around? Oh! <laughs> Does that mean the woman you were cheating on me with dumped you? She didn't dump me. My mom just didn't think she was good enough for me. Mom didn't want me to be with her, so that was the end of that. Your mom wasn't going to approve of any woman on this earth. I think she was scared they'd steal you from her. It took all my patience to put up with her as long as I did. That, and I kept thinking that you'd eventually stand up to her for me. But I realized that that was never going to happen. You can count on me this time, though. You're the most important thing to me. Let me prove it to you. I don't want you to, so don't even offer to do that again. I'm doing just fine by myself. I don't need you. If I went back to you, you'd just make me look after the woman who tormented me for so long. Do you think I want any part of that hell? You don't have to do it well. Just make sure she doesn't kill herself or anything. I'm not looking for expert care, because that all bag submitted those divorce papers without my permission. You really are something, aren't you? I don't have a single good memory of your mom. Yet that's the only person you've ever really cared about. And now you're considering abandoning her? Because she was the one who orchestrated our divorce. I never wanted to divorce you. I can't forgive her for that. Well, you know what? The whole reason I decided to go ahead with the divorce was because of how you acted. Not because of her. You made me feel worthless because I didn't have a job. Yet you were the one who made me quit my job. And then you kick me out on the street without any notice or any place to go. And on top of all that, you went and cheated on me. Like I said, that was... I mean... I admit it was wrong to cheat on you. I'm sorry, but my mom's partly to blame for that too. You expect me to buy that? You're supposed to be an adult. Stop making excuses. How are you just going to ignore what you did and try to put the blame on someone else? Regardless of what your mom said to you, you still did the action. You were the one who cheated. 
That fact will never change no matter how you try to spin the story. Ava, how am I supposed to take care of my mom by myself? I don't know anything about caring for the senile. Who do I talk to about this? I can't afford special medical care for her. I can't afford to put her in a home. That's got nothing to do with me. You've got the internet. Look this stuff up yourself. Can you even do that much? But... Mom's been doing everything for me my whole life. Then don't you think it should be your job to take care of her now that she needs you? It sounds like you owe her a lot. I suggest you start trying to repay her. But I can't. Please, Ava, I'm begging you. Just help me for a little bit. Ava, if you're not around, I can't do anything. I think you mean if your mom's not around, you can't do anything. You did quite a lot without me before. When I was gone, you found a new lover and did a lot of things with her, huh? I think what you really want around is a mom that will do absolutely anything for you. And that's not what I want to be. That's why there's no way in hell I'm ever going back to you. <laughs> After that, my ex showed up at my workplace again. So, I called the police on him again. And this time, I had a restraining order put on him. I guess he didn't want to get arrested, so I never saw him again after that. From what I've heard from people in his area, he wasn't able to work and look after his mom at the same time. Quite a number of times, his mom wandered off and Antonio didn't know where she went. He had to get everyone he knew to help him look for her. If she had been even a little nicer to me, I might have offered to help look after her from time to time. But because of her attitude and how she raised Antonio to be a spoiled rotten man who can't do anything for himself, I guess she's kind of getting what she deserves too. I don't know what's going to happen from here on out with those two. But I do know that it's really difficult for regular families to deal with loved ones with issues like that. And that makes it pretty much impossible for someone like Antonio to deal with. I can only hope he's smart enough to find proper care for his mom, regardless of the price. As for me, because my ex-husband knew where I worked, I put in a request to be moved to a different care facility. Now I've got a new job in a new town, and I'm sure that my ex-husband won't bother me again. I feel really great now. It's like I've turned over a new leaf. I think my past is truly behind me and I can start looking forward to the future. I'm not sure if I'm going to start looking for a new man right now or not. On the one hand, I feel like I'll be a lot better at picking the proper man for me. After all, now I know what not to look for in a man. But at the same time, I really love living on my own and not needing to listen to anyone complain about how I live my life. I guess only time will tell what I decide to do. But either way, both paths seem bright and filled with happiness. I look forward to what the future will bring my way. <laughs>